to play a game. Hello everybody! I've been waiting to do a Minecraft video for so long, but I'll be honest, I'm quite intimidated by it because a lot of my favourite vi videos, a lot of my favourite YouTubers play Minecraft and I think they do such an amazing job. And not only that, my kids love it. So if I don't do justice to a Let's Play Minecraft video, they're going to let me know before anybody else. So here I am, I am in 119 and i using the seed G4G3 and it's um, an interesting starting place, that's for sure. Why have I done this in Bedrock? Well, I play Java and I play Bedrock, I think I've said it before in one of my other videos. But my kids play Bedrock, mostly anyway, because they play on the consoles. And I'm sure lots of people who watch this will be playing on the consoles as well. And not only that, there's lots of cool add-ons now that give you an almost... Oh, hello Piggy. They give you an almost Java-like experience. It's not exactly the same, but there's some great add-ons there, uh, particularly from a load of hard work from someone called Foxy No Tails, who's done some amazing add-ons. All the links for the add-ons are down below in the description, as well as all the settings that I've used. Um, so if you want to play along, everything is there in the description for you to, to go and use it. And I also am using shaders, but I won't put them on all the time. They're a little bit buggy, so I'm only going to use them in, in little bits anyway. The other thing you may have noticed on my start screen, uh, for those of you that are eagle-eyed, is I can't get achievements on this. Now, on Bedrock, I still up anyway, because you get it once and then you never get it again anyway. It's not like Java. But I have to use the experiments feature so that I can use the a lot of the add-ons that we have for now. So another thing to mention about the add-ons, whoops. Another thing to mention about the add-ons is if you are on a console and you do want to use these add-ons, I don't think you can install add-ons onto the console, but these will all work on the Windows 10 edition of of the uh, of Minecraft, so Bedrock Edition. But you can get them on a console if you've got a friend or a family member, a parent, or yourself, if you've got a realm, if you set the world up on your realm with all these add-ons and then connect it with your console, they'll all work. We do that all the time on our realm because we use Nintendo Switches and stuff like that, so it all works. Anyway, let's get started and see what we can do. So I've got an idea in my brain already for what I want to do for a starter house. Every good Bedrock world start. Every good Minecraft world starts with start house, of course. Uh, but I know that I'm going to need some mangrove stuff. And one thing I've learned from 119 so far is every time I've needed mangrove stuff, I've had to go miles and miles and miles. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to work out how far we need to go. In fact, we're not going to work out how far we need to go. We're just going to go for it. I'm really guilty of using that chunk base website to find out where everything is, and I'm not going to do it in this one. We're going to go adventuring together as much as possible. I mean, I'm not going to leave you watching me running around for hours and hours, but I will do some cuts in and out. So, I'm ready for my adventure. Village, mangrove swamp, let's get to it. Okay, off we go. I'm not even going to start like, punching any trees or anything because... I'm literally just going to run to, I probably have to get some food I guess, but I'm just going to run to the first swamp that we find and village, I'm probably going to set up camp there because it's mostly that kind of stuff that I need, I mean a jungle would be nice because they're always tricky to find but um, I don't think I need it straight away, do I? I don't think so. So on my list of things I need, as I said, mangrove, um, your standard woods, I'm going to need quite a bit of sand. Uh, copper, so I'm going to have to go do lots of mining. Obviously, I'm going to need some diamonds. Everyone needs some diamonds. Um, so, yeah. Let's get somewhere a bit more open and we can have a look around and decide which way we want to go. What piggies? Oh, there's a village. We may as well at least raid the village. Hopefully, food. Yeah, lots of food. Hang on a minute. Is that a jungle? jungle right next to us as well. Oh, and a desert. This is a good start. That is, that is a jungle, a village, and a desert. What's over here? Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a mangrove swamp? <laughs> It's a, it is a giant mangrove swamp, isn't it? Yes! Now, you, you're going to think I've like staged the seed because everything around me is that I need, but I, genuinely not. It literally is just my name, so... 
Uh, let's just make sure I'm pretty certain that it is. I've got to get a bed from a village, so you're safe, sheepy. That is a mangrove swamp. Excellent work. Right, let's get to the village. Let's um, let's get raiding. Get ourselves set up in a little spot. I think we're going to use this village then as our as our starter house. So we're going to build the starter house and we'll probably revamp this village. But I'll come back to that later because I will tell you all of my plans after I've made my build. I'm walking very slowly now because I'm hungry, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone to the village and taken all the interesting stuff. It's not the best village, no bookcases or anything like that, but hopefully we'll find another one on our travels. Uh, what we did find, though, was there's plenty of wheat, we've got plenty of food, uh, there's beetroots and potatoes there, so we can maybe start our first little farms. Same with the wheat, although I probably need, I need to go find the seeds. Um, but the good thing is, I'm usually terrible at spending hours and hours and hours, hours and hours and hours trying to work out where I'm going to start. And our start is going to be here. We will be building our starter house here. So we'll be able to see the village. We'll be able to work nearby the village and ultimately transform this village. But for now, here we go. This is where we're going to be. Done. Welcome to my starter house. No, I'm kidding. So I'm going to go and get all the resources I need. So as I mentioned earlier, Mangrove wood, plenty of it, mud. Uh, I need some mushrooms, I need some sand, some copper. So, rather than do all that individually, I'm gonna split screen this out, do a little time lapse. It's not gonna be like a replay mod style time lapse, even though you can sort of do that on Bedrock, but I need another computer and another account, and I haven't got those things. So, we're just gonna do a cool, or hopefully a cool, split screen, screen time lapse. And I hope you enjoy the music. This is somebody I discovered recently called The Music Man on Twitch. Enjoy, go and watch him. Links will be down in the uh, description. I'll flash them up on the screen as well. See you soon with hopefully chests full of materials. Find a desert temple. It's pretty cool. Let's um, let's investigate. Trying to get blown up. I've done one of these in a long time. Oh, hello. Well, that's good because I'm going to need bone meal later on. So let's have you. I haven't made a shield, which is probably my first problem. There we go. That's all right though. And we need lots of this sandstone. So that's a great bonus. Take some of this while we're here. I'll just make sure it's not dark as well by the time we run out. Get murdered by a creeper or something. Anyway, enough of this. I'll see the good stuff. I can mine the rest of it off camera. Let's find the hole. Is it right in the middle? There we go. Right. Now, what do we have to remember? Don't land the pressure plate because you get blown up. There we go. And underneath here, TNT. Take that. Can't be a good bit of TNT. And what's in the chest? Loads of stuff. Horse armor, Riptide, fair enough, that's alright. Little Napple, excellent. Alright, let's just take it all. Let's just pow through that one. Take all this. Hopefully I've got enough room just to just take it all. Oh, I have not. Well, anyway, I will fill my bags, uh, go back and dump it all back, and then carry on to where I was going. It's the first diamond! 
and it is literally diamond. Ah! Oh. Oh, no, two. Yes! Three! And I think that's it. Alright, let's keep going. We need more deep slate. More deep slate. Well, everybody, it has been a long, long, long day. I didn't appreciate how much you have to try and squeeze in to do an episode of Minecraft properly. But here we are, back at the starting area. It's changed quite a bit. Uh, there's lots of stuff here now. Lots and lots of stuff. Yeah. This has been my day. Farming this, going getting it all, farming it, mining. But oh, I've got all my diamond gear sorted already because I did pretty well in the mines. Um, oh, why did I forget that it was? You need silk touch to farm the mushroom blocks. I forgot about that. But anyway, thankfully I got it on the enchanted table. You'll see over there. I've got uh, most of the way there. I will get there tomorrow. Uh, just to show you some of the other bits. So I've got many chests. I mean, I've got these animals here, which I'm all going to use. Obviously, the cows. They're uh, they maybe getting modified um, for this. Um, what have I got here? So we've got some crops, the usual crops, sugar cane, some trees, and growing up and cutting down the bamboo. That there's a lightning rod on top of there, just in case the lightning comes down. Uh, more trees. I keep getting the occasional zombie appearing here as well, which is quite frustrating, even though it's lit up. Um, yeah, these. The how much of a pain are these? Like these are a nightmare to farm. This has been an interesting job. And I've got my chests, and I was adamant I wasn't going to have really, really, really messy chests. So I think you'd be proud of me. Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All put together nicely. Nicely, nicely. All my logs, all my leaves, and some other stuff. Foody stuff. Other stuff. But it is all sorted inside the chest, at least for now. Everything I've been mining. Look at the diamonds. I did quite well on that strip mine. It was it was pretty good, actually. Um, it's not as hard. You know, it takes a while, especially when you've got rubbish tools. But you stick to it for a bit and... You'll get some. A few emeralds I got just from the chests and a couple of the villages. I got plenty of coal while I was running around. That was from like surface coal from on top of a mountain. So, yeah, that was all right. What else did we get here? Oh, loads of copper. Found a cool copper vein while I was down there. That was nice. Uh, mob droppy type things. Uh, we found this in the in the desert temple, if you remember rightly, and then all this other stuff. Bone meal I've been getting as I've been going along by either killing skeletons at night time when I've been awake or just by uh, bone meal in the crops. Uh, more all the stuff that I got from a couple of creepers that I've killed and again from that desert temple. That was a really good find, that desert temple. Got some obsidian while I was down there as well as soon as I got my diamond pick because we're going to need to go to the nether because if nothing else we're going to need quartz at some point. Lord of redstone. Uh, Lord of mangrovey stuff, the it's not mangrovey stuff, the mud stuff. Um, I came across a uh, what are they called? That purple thing, the amethyst place. Oh my word, I've forgotten the name of it. Let me know, I've forgotten already. Ah. Anyway, I came across one of them, forgot at the time, didn't have silk touch. Bam, 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 bang. Maybe I still haven't actually got silk touch on my pickaxe. So, um, yeah, I did have a silk touch pickaxe also. We'll not talk about when I pinged my silk touch pickaxe. It was in such a stupid way as well. So anyway, I need to try and enchant that again, but the enchanting table's been a nightmare as usual. But I did get it on my axe, so that was the, a good thing. It is now quite late. And I was hoping, in my brain, I was like, I'm going to do all this in one day, and I'm going to build my starter house, and I'm going to put it all together, and I'm going to render it and get it on YouTube, and I absolutely am not. So... I'm going to bed in real life, and I'll see you tomorrow for what hopefully will be last bits of my farming and building my start house. Well, do you ever have that thing where you wake up from bed and you just start doing a little bit and doing a little bit and then before you know it something massive happens like this? I've done it! I've finished the starter house. So, why don't we have a quick look round? Let's go inspectate it first and see what it looks like. 
Okay, so here it is in spectator mode. Works pretty much the same as the, the Java one. It's a bit buggy because it's still in development, but it is cool. But this is the starter house. It took me a long while to build. Let's look all the way around. We've got a nice well, which is going to access my renewable water source. Uh, some custom trees. Our animals have been moved over. Uh, we did the back. There is a back to it. And some decoration as well. It's not just the facade. Side, more animals, some cows. We've got our manual farms, which will work as our actual farms to start, but also they're going to look pretty cool, hopefully, anyway. And the other thing is, I've been trying to get better at roofs. It's been my Achilles heel for a long while in my Minecraft builds, and I tried to do something a bit different with this one. It's a bit chunky in places, but I think it probably works. I usually just do things like this, where it's like steps and slabs and then sort of leave it alone, but I'm trying to get better at roofs, and I'll continue to do more funky roofs as we go through this series, but let me know what you think. I think it turned out okay. Uh, the other thing that we can do is have a quick look at this in shaders. Now, shaders are a bit buggy, but it's probably worth a look still. Let's have a quick check. Okay, here's the shaders loading in. Whoop! I mean, they still look pretty cool. There are some issues with shaders. Um, it's not actually the shader part that's the problem. It's something to do with the latest update on Minecraft. So hopefully they'll get sorted soon. But you get a bit of an idea. I mean, the, the grass looks like it's ice, doesn't it? How weird is that? It's slippery green ice. Uh, but yeah, here it is with some shaders. I'm not going to go inside with them because it's so dark with the shaders on. Look at that. All the sheep look like they've been sheared. Oh, no, they're not sheep. They're cows. So they do look weird. So, anyway, there it is with some shaders. I thought I'd show you with that on. But we are going to turn that off and then we'll have a quick look inside. I have got something to admit though. This is hollow. <laughs> There's nothing underneath for it. I mean, I may use it as like a cellar or something at, at some point, but there is no way I was filling that in. This took long enough anyway without having to fill all that stuff in. So, let's get ourselves back into survival. Well, let's have a quick look inside. I made this nice little pathway to be a bit windy and I wanted it to be some elevation because it's dead easy in Minecraft to just do everything really flat. So some elevation and that'll change as well as as we upgrade all this, there'll be a bit more elevation around here. It's nearly night time. Let's go to sleep. Oh, there we go, we've slept. The world is safe. I'm trying to save this village. I've blocked in some of the villages, but some of them just wouldn't go in the houses. So I'm like beat up sleeping at the minute to try and make sure everything stays safe. Anyway, let's get inside this house. I've done some interior, I've done the inside at the bottom, but I'm not never up there, but I'll show you this anyway. So look, we've got these cool things on the wall, and I'm going to show you these properly in a minute. It's one of my favourite mods that's been brought out. Um, they, they, they look like they're in item frames, don't they? And it's an invisible item frame, but it's even better than that. So I'll show you that shortly. Uh, tiny bit of storage, nothing in there yet, because I haven't moved anything over. My cool clock. My big L-shaped sofa, however, is made of stone, so I'm not sure how comfortable it'll be. Um, I've got the traditional sort of uh, furnace array, the basic one, so inside there, two hoppers on the chest is like your input, two barrels do your coal or whatever fuel you're going to use and then they smelt and they come down into this chest down the bottom. I think everybody makes them by now but I love these, they're very cool. My cool fireplace doesn't do anything functional, it just looks very nice. And this area is an area that I'm really, really happy with. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying to make it better as we unlock more items from in the game and you'll see there's more of these items on the floor and I'm going to show you how these work right now but this is my DMs table so I've told you loads that I'm into Dungeons and Dragons I absolutely love it and um, this is my big table for running my adventures with my DM screen, my chair and to make this work properly I wanted to have these props so some of these are like the books so the, the Dungeons and Dragons books screwed up pieces of paper on the floor uh, people's character sheets, some props in the middle, the nuggets are acting as dice right now, they're not the best choice, but I think conduits will look quite good as, um, as dice, little conduits, but right now I'm not going to be able to get those, so the nuggets are there as dice for now, but how did I do this? Well, Foxy No Tails, as I mentioned earlier, is a genius and he's made these mobs, and thankfully I've got a slime chunk underneath this house, near enough underneath there anyway, and all you do is take any item and you combine it with a slime ball, and you get a placeable version, so you don't even need an item frame. So if I wanted to put this, I don't know, over here, I just pop it down, and it's done. And I can spin it around. Absolutely genius. Foxy No Tail, you are amazing. All the links to his mods are down in the bottom. I've not used all of them in this one episode, but we will be using them as the time goes through. But all of them are linked in there. Everything that I've got enabled, do go and use them if you can. And support him as well. He's doing an absolute wonders for Bedrock. So that's downstairs, and I'm going to come back to this in a minute because this is going to have a whole story that we're going to go through. I'll show you upstairs, there's not a lot going on at the minute. But straight up here would be my bedroom. It's a big room, so we'll probably do bedroom and possibly storage. 
Uh, in here is the giant tower. I have no idea what I'm going to do in here, but if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think we could possibly do in there. And back room, it just decent size for an enchanting room, wasn't it? So it's a bit boring right now. It's all good. Okay, so this is my day one build, and I say day one. I think it could be two days, really. This is my day two build. Um, but I want to do Dungeons and Dragons inside Minecraft. So that's going to be building some amazing, brilliant buildings, landscapes, cities. Some of the things are going to be biome based. Like obviously, the one that starts jumps out to me straight away is the Nether is going to probably be or one layer of uh, the Nether is going to be Avernus. So we can build loads of cool Avernus style stuff in there, and we've already got the sort of Netherscape environment to work in. And if you, we've got a swamp, you know, we could probably build something that looks a bit like Ravenloft because we're going to have all that sort of dark, dank, Barovia style uh, to build in. So that's my plans. And I would love suggestions from you. Anything that you think would be amazing to build in Minecraft, either ones that you'd just like to see, um, any that you think, oh, that'd be really tricky. Maybe we couldn't do that. Do it. Let's let's try it and see how good we can make it. Um, but also, like, I'm also going to try and build a D&D system inside Dungeons & Dragons as well. Inside Dungeons & Dragons? Inside Minecraft as well. So I want to be able to try and play, at least on a basic level, like a D&D style game inside it. And I'm definitely going to do that. So definitely comments, anything at all that you can suggest to do with D&D inside Minecraft. Let me know in the comments below and we'll start building for sure. And if you're going to say immediately, go and build Castle Ravenloft. I 100% want to build Castle Ravenloft, but there is absolutely no chance that I'm going to be able to build that right now. We need lots more resources. I'm probably going to need an elytra so I can actually fly up and down and see what I'm doing. So that's not going to be something straight away, but do get the suggestions in, because even if you put something like that at the start, I'm going to keep a list and we'll, we'll start working our way through. And then we'll use the nether tunnels to get around to all these different biomes. Um, we'll, we'll make a nice nether tunnel to do that. Some of them will be the biomes that already exist in the game. Others will make, we we'll end up making an entire biome ourselves. But I think it's great. I can't wait to get to it. The other thing that I want to address is farms. So yes, I am going to build farms in the game. I'm going to do some automation, but I'm not going to build these absolutely giant farms that nobody ever uses more than once because I'm not on a, an SMP. So if it was an SMP, yeah, okay. I've got to sell to make money and so on and so on. But just for me, I need little farms, little efficient farms that are going to be loaded in, in the area that I'm building in or around my house, which will do enough. So if I've got an iron farm, like, you know, just next to where I am now, it's going to be churning all the time. We're going to get enough. I don't need the big, giant, multi-platform, huge thing. Um, but also, I also wanted to show that you can build simple, small farms. Lots of the tutorials that I see on YouTube are all these, like, they say, simple farm. So... All in all, D&D themed world. This village that I'm going to do here, I'm going to go over all this village and we're going to make a, just a little medieval fantasy style world. Uh, town, village, that thing. And then after that, everything's going to be sort of D&D themed. Small, efficient farms that anyone can build. And the other thing I really want to be clear on is I want this to be about how we can make things look great in Minecraft. So if I build a farm, you're thinking, well, you could have built that slightly differently and it would have generated 15 million times more of the items. That's not what I want to do. I want to do farms that look cool. They don't look cool straight away, but build the farm, make them look cool, and then be efficient without it just being a giant ur. That's not what I want. So I hope you guys like the idea. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. Let me know if you think it's not a good idea. It'd be interesting just to hear all those comments below and if you enjoyed this please do subscribe to the channel like the video watch some of my other videos anything you can to help me support this channel um, and i can't wait to get started so that's it from me thank you again for watching and i will see you next time have a good one everyone bye it's a zombie got some armor you can leather, but let's see if we can get him with my bare hands come on zombie because i forgot to make some weapons go on it's tough oh we got my first death <laughs> the, the slowest kill in the world. It's time to just spam, make sure we don't die. Come on, zombie, die. Leather helmet. I'm gonna go eat this flesh. <laughs>